and I, and I will, will ask the Father, Father and he and will he give you another, another helper, helper, comforter, comforter advocate, advocate, intercessor, intercessor counselor, counselor, strengthener, strengthener standby, stand by, to be, to be with, with you forever. forever. Food for Soul and Goa Co-working present today's readings and reflection. May 23, 2022 Monday of the sixth week of Easter A reading from the Acts of the Apostles We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth, from the city of Tyatira, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lord takes delight in His people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this, so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection on Today's Readings by Bob Our readings portray two contrasting images, both true, of what the early church experienced. The reading from Acts gives us a glimpse of the positive spread of the church in Macedonia. Paul arrives in Nepolis, a city near Thessalonica slash modern Thessaloniki, and travels on to Philippi. The Gospel warns the disciples that they will face persecution as they are called to give witness, mu alpha rho tau epsilon rho epsilon iota tau epsilon, martyrite, and testify concerning Jesus and his mission. In the first reading, 
the preaching of Paul takes effect in what is part of modern Europe. After arriving in Nepolis, he travels on to Philippi, where he converts the first European Christian. This is Lydia, who becomes a supporter of the missionary efforts of Paul and his traveling companions. The community of faith continues to expand as the gospel, good news, is preached, the psalm is a hymn of praise sung by God's people as they experience God's blessings in their lives. Praise is the appropriate response to God's working in people's lives. And praising in the midst of the assembled crowd is even more powerful, for that gives witness to God's might deeds, Jesus, as he continues his Last Supper discourse in today's Gospel, gives both a promise and a warning. He promises to send the Holy Spirit as the paraclete, or advocate or helper or encourager. The role of the paraclete is to defend and protect, support and give testimony, witness, on behalf of Jesus, and for his disciples. Jesus also warns his disciples that they will have to give testimony, witness, martyrite. Part of this giving witness will include being a martyr with their lives. Their lives will give witness not just in what they say, or how they act, but also in the persecution and even death they may experience because of their willingness to proclaim their relationship to Jesus and their commitment to his mission. In some ways, things are much different today than in the early years of Christianity. We may not see the rapid growth of faith that St. Paul and his companions experienced. We also may not experience the same type of persecution that Jesus warns his disciples they would have. We live in a country where religion is seen as part of life, part of our freedom. We may be aware that there are many Christians who are being martyrs by dying for their belief in Jesus as groups, like ISIS. Move into certain areas of the Middle East. We are being called to be witnesses of the faith. The way we give witness may not be in the exact same way as Paul or the other early disciples did. We have to give witness by standing up for our beliefs and manifesting our way of life in a world which tolerates us and yet portrays values contradictory to a true Christian way of life. That is a challenge for us. It implies that we have to set ourselves distinctively apart from the ways of the commercialized, self-centered world and we must do it in a manner which invites others to accept the good news. Our lives must be a joyful witness in a way which entices people to want to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus, although our approach to witnessing, being martyrs to, the faith may be different than that of the first believers in Jesus or even those in the Middle East and other parts of the world today. One aspect that is not different is who is our supporter and helper, the advocate or paraclete. The same Holy Spirit is willing and ready to guide us in our giving witness as much as the Spirit did for Paul, Peter, and the rest of the first good news proclaimers. We just need to frequently, daily, hourly, call upon the Holy Spirit to be with us, to strengthen us, to guide us in our witnessing the faith. The Holy Spirit will show us how we can live in a way which truly proclaims the good news of Jesus to the modern world. In this time of a world health crisis, the Holy Spirit can show us ways we can reach out to others and help them as they deal with the repercussion from the pandemic. We might be led to send message and encouraging news items. We can tell others that we are praying for them and their loved ones. We can support first responders, medical personnel, and essential workers. We can ask the Holy Spirit to empower us to care in a positive way for others and we can focus on good news instead of all the negative news of the last few years. 
The Spirit may move us to be more understanding and loving to members of our family, especially with those with whom we may be having problems communicating. The Advocate may give us the fortitude to deal honestly and lovingly with the people with whom we come in contact in our work environment, even if we only are interacting with them digitally. The Paraclete will gives us the wherewithal to treat others in a way which shows we are in relationship with a God who is love. The Spirit of the Risen Lord will be with us so that our lives give witness to the good news in face of the bad news that is being proclaimed by the world around us. We may be guided by the Spirit to reach out to the less fortunate both whom we encounter directly and those living across the globe. We can make a difference in people's lives in ways similar to the ways the early Christians did in their time, being witnesses, Martyroi, requires that we become as committed to Jesus and his mission and to the guidance of the Holy Spirit as the first witnesses of the faith were committed to gospel and the modern martyrs in some of Middle Eastern countries and into what is modern Europe. That takes time in prayer and reflection on the Word of God. It means we have to see how we can proclaim the good news at all times, and if necessary, using words, paraphrase of St. Francis of Assisi's words. Yet, if we are willing to make the decision to be his disciples and follow Jesus completely in our lives, then we will have the gift of the Holy Spirit. We will then be able to echo the words of today's psalm and say, Let the high praises of God be in our throats. This is the glory of all God's faithful ones. Alleluia. The personal question or action for today. To whom am I being called to witness my faith in the Lord Jesus? In what particular area in my life do I need the help of the Paraclete, Holy Spirit, so that I can be a better witness? Is there some area in my life which needs to be brought more in line with Gospel values? How can I reassure others of the Holy Spirit acting in their lives as the Helper, Advocate, and Intercessor? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, ever present with us. Through your goodness, you call us to give witness to the good news your Son has brought into the world and shared with us, that you love us and want to have a relationship with us. We have sometimes failed to be witnesses to, martyrs for, this message because we have feared the reaction of others, or have not been totally committed to spreading the gospel, good news. For this, we ask your pardon and forgiveness. We ask that you continue to pour into our lives your Holy Spirit, the Advocate and Paraclete, who gifts us with strength, wisdom, and power, so that we can proclaim our relationship with you, in and through your Son, Jesus. Through the continued presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives, help us to spend the time we need listening to, and putting into action, the teachings of Jesus. Make our lives, the way we treat others, true testimonies of the Gospel. And may we always give you the glory and praise for what you have done, are doing, and will continue to do until we are one with you, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Presented by Father Frankie Fernandez OFM Capuchin Justice Peace Integrity Creation JPIC Capuchin Goa